Hey everyone, Dylan Jones here. Uh, today I'm going to be walking you through how to transfer data from uh, the TSC5 to your Windows 10 computer or from your Windows 10 computer to your TSC5 um, using the provided USB cable. So these TSC5s, they come with a USB Type-C cable. Uh, different from the traditional USB mini or USB Type-A cable, um, you'll notice that it has a little bit different connection type on there. Most computers nowadays will have the USB Type-C port, which makes it nice and easy to do. Um, if, it, if your computer doesn't have a USB Type-C port, you can go out and you can buy um, an adapter for very, very cheap. Uh, that'll give you the USB Type-A connection, um, basically uh, an adapter to convert USB Type-C to USB Type-A. Um, so just one way to get around that uh, hurdle. All right, so what I'm going to do here is connect up uh, this cable. Plug one end into my computer, and then the other end plugs into the bottom of the TSC5 here. You'll see the flap, open the flap. There's your connection ports. Plug in to that port there. You'll hear some chiming on both of our, uh, on both devices, and you'll see a pop-up on the TSC5 that, uh, that says USB preferences. So what we need to do here uh, with this notification is uh, basically identify what we are using this um, connection for. So we're going to use file transfer as the USB uh, use case here. So file transfer to be able to transfer data from our computer to the TSC3 or to the TSC5, excuse me, or from the TSC5 to the computer. Okay, um, something might pop up on your computer. Here I, I've got a message that says update files. The connected device requires uh, some updated components that aren't installed in my system. So I'm gonna go ahead and install those. Okay, so if you see that message, go ahead and do that. And then I just get this confirmation here that it's been successfully updated. And now if I, uh, if I launch File Explorer on my computer, I should see the TSC5 underneath uh, this PC. So it should be a connected device now. Um, I can go ahead and double click on the TSC5 here and you should see internal shared storage. And then from here, all the Trimble data is conveniently placed in the Trimble data folder. So we'll open that up. And then it's, uh, whether you're uh, transferring um, project files, job files, um, exported files or system files, You'll just pick the appropriate folder here. So what I actually want to do in this case, um, I don't have my geoid files on my controller yet, so I'm going to go out to the internet and download those from the uh, Trimble DocuShare webpage. Uh, if you just do a quick Google search for Trimble geoid models, if, if you're someone who's looking for the geoid models, uh, you can download those from, uh, from online. Okay, I've got those all um, saved here to uh, my documents. So let me find those. There we go. So I want to transfer some geoid files to my controller. Let's go ahead and pick the latest geoid 18 there and the geoid 18 MN. We'll copy those. And now we're going to go back to the TSC5 folder. So I'm going to go to uh, my devices, TSC5, internal share, shared storage, Trimble data, and geoid models belong in the system files folder. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the paste button and paste those geoids onto my controller. And there we go. You can see the GGF files there. Now I'm gonna to go to my TSC5, just to confirm that they're there. I'm gonna back out of my USB preferences here, open up Trimble Access, and I'm going to go to my jobs list. I'm going to create a new job, call it test files. pick from my coordinate system. Let's just go ahead and set this up here with something quick. And I can see I can now use geoid models. There we go. So that was successful. That's how you would uh, transfer files over to your data collector. And I'll finish up that job file. And there we go. So we're all good there. Um, so Hopefully that makes sense. 
Very easy to transfer data through the USB cable. Shouldn't need much for drivers or installations other than that one minor thing um, at the very beginning when I first plugged in the cable. Um, notice on the TSC5, if you pull down from the top, so I'm just doing a quick uh, swipe from the top. Uh, if I scroll, I might find, yes, at the bottom here of my notifications panel, Android system, USB file uh, transfer turned on. If I if, uh, if you don't see the initial pop-up screen on the TSC5 when you first connect it, um, you can come into the notification panel and you'll see here at the bottom that you can tap for more options on the USB stuff and see that um, file transfer there is the use case that is selected. If it isn't selected, you'll go ahead and select it there. That'll formulate the connection to transfer files between your computer and your TSC5. So that's all I have for you today. Hopefully that was beneficial and uh, be on the lookout for more TSC5 videos from me coming, coming shortly. Thank you.